Lauren. I'm a microbiology analyst here at Bureau Veritas Chesterfield. Hi, my name is Elizabeth McMichael. I am a microbiology analyst here at Bureau Veritas Chesterfield. Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm a senior analyst here at Bureau Veritas Food Chesterfield. Hello, I'm Cecilia Stoltz. I'm a senior analyst here at Chesterfield Bureau Veritas. Hi, I'm Chuck Hoff. I am the supervisor here at the Bureau Veritas Chesterfield Lab. Here at Bureau Veritas Chesterfield, we are an ISO accredited food microbiology lab. We test for target pathogens and microbial loads. We offer a variety of qualitative and quantitative tests for Salmonella, Listeria, E. coli, Enterobacter, yeast and mold, staph, clostridium, and general Arabic organisms. Welcome to our lab. This is our pre-incubation lab. This is our hygiene junction where we don our PPE and this is where we wash our hands. In our pre-incubation lab, we have two areas for sample processing. We have our low risk and we have our high risk. This is where we enrich and plate our samples before incubation. And then through this window here is where we pass them for incubating and further processing. Here in our pre-incubation lab, we also have a media prep area. This is where we prep our media for use in product testing and quality control. Here is our post-incubation lab. Here is another hygiene junction where we wash our hands and then don our new PPE specific to this lab. Okay. Here in our post-incubation lab, this is where we incubate our samples. So our samples will incubate at temperatures based on FDA and AOAC method specifications. After incubation is complete, we have further processing testing stations. We have confirmation testing stations for identifying organisms based on their growth morphologies and specific media and their chemical reactions to test standard testing protocols. These fax machines use PCR to amplify and identify the DNA of target organisms. Okay, and our counting station we have a quantification table and a microscope for visual identification of organisms. 